Carol O'Foury. Weekdays, 9 a.m. till 12. East Coast Radio. Listen, we got a really jam-packed, delicious show for you. A big, deba- a big debate is happening today, and it's got to do with a study that has revealed that husbands stress women out twice as much as their children do. Do you agree? I see Bulat putting a hand in the air. 9.30, we're going to talk. Do you agree with this and why? 061-792-9495. Does your husband stress you out twice as much as your kid? Carol O'Foury. We're getting into our topic. All I'll say, let me just play this voice note so you can understand. Carol, what? <laughs> this is nine o'clock in the morning. You're choosing violence. Oh my word. That is no way I can agree with that. That is no way. On behalf of all men, I feel like women stress us out a hell of a lot more. That's why we go gray faster. And we age like fine wine. <laughs> All right, if you're just joining us, welcome. Uh, there's some very important pieces of research that I'd like to share with fellow ladies, fellow wives, and men. Are you listening properly? Research shows that husbands can be a massive source of stress for women. Sometimes even more than their own children. A survey conducted with over 7,000 mothers found that 46% of respondents said their husbands caused them more stress than their kids. Now, the primary reasons for the stress included a lack of help from spouses with parenting and household duties, leading many women to feel overwhelmed by the responsibilities of work and the home life. Mm hmm. Now, in eight minutes' time, I'll tell you another frightening fact that's going to leave uh, gents with their eyeballs coming out of the head like a cartoon <laughs> because they cannot believe such a thing. So I'm asking you the question, how do you feel about this research? Do you agree husbands cause their wives a lot more stress than the children? Must be when I mentioned that your hand went up into the air like you were uh, at an auction. Girl, it's like you were there. Yeah. You're on that wall. <laughs> Tell me your thoughts. All right. So this is normally with the household stuff. Yeah. So Bae's like, you know what? I'll see you, Tad. Relax. I will clean the house for you. I'll get to it. Monday becomes Tuesday, becomes Wednesday, becomes Thursday. Mm-hmm. Until Saturday. Yep. I'm starting the process. He sees me starts the process. He's like, no, I've got it. It's fine. So I'm, I'm, you said you had it on Monday. Right. What happened? What happened? hundred uh, percent. And that's just, where the stress starts. Just leave it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's that thing when we ask for help in certain things and you go, absolutely. Always enthusiastic. Absolutely. No problem, babes. I got you. <laughs> and then it's gone out one window in the other window. Ah, ah, ah. And then you're sitting there and you're like, but the same thing frustrates you a few hours later, a day later. And then it's the, why are you being so hectic? I, I said I would do it, you know. So the key here is just take out your phone, make a note like you would for boys night out, mm-hmm. like you would for a business meeting, <laughs> like you would if the bank called you and told you you won the lottery. <laughs> Make a note. <laughs> Commit. And get it done. Because you drive us crazy. Okay. Um, I'll give you a classic example this morning. I said to Afori, please take our water. Uh, we, we use water coolers. I said to him, please, we need a refill of water. Please take it with you as you drop the kids. Take it with you on your way. Go past the water, guys. And then come back with the water. No problem, sweetie. Come down the stairs. Guess what's sitting there? All the bottles. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> they are sitting there. You know, your stress level goes from zero to 100. I need to be on a radio show at nine o'clock. It's to eight. Ne? I'm like, okay, you see now, there's my pressure. Mm. I had to, I went up, took the water bottles, went up. I said, Malume, I've got the water bottles. Here they are. What happened? Ah, the, the, in, the internet says these guys only open at 8.30. Get to the mm. shop. The guys are like, no, we actually open 7.30. <laughs> we don't know why the website says that. <laughs> I'm like, so you couldn't take a chance. So these are the stress points, my friends. I totally agree. Just yesterday, my husband was off from work and he was at home. And just a few minutes after he got out from the bed, I started shouting because he was just (laughs) doing his own things, running from this end to that end. And I am busy cleaning the house. And I told him, why are you making me scream this much? I don't even scream when the kids are at home. Hi, Carol. Yes, of course, our husband stresses out more and it's because they are not supportive. I mean, as women, we will do anything for our kids. We just need our husbands to be more supportive. We will do everything else. Yeah, guys, and I know it's not intentional, but trust me, if you take note of everything and put a reminder that's going to ping 
You will get it done and you will see love. There will be hearts in our eyes. Parliamental load is real. It's real. Zero six one seven nine two nine four nine five. Carol Ofori. Yo, Carol, you are killing us here. What about the the stress level you guys give us, Carol? What about the you know the stress levels the wife uh, gives the husband? You know, uh, you should talk about that as well. I can't blame you, you guys. You know, women getting frustrated, but you'll need to calm down. That's also something we should never tell you guys. But just calm down. We are one task at a time. It being we don't multitask we don't take notes and do the thing we either take the notes and forget to do the thing or we do the thing and don't take notes you guys must choose come now a survey conducted with over 7,000 mothers found that 46% of respondents said their husbands caused them more stress than their own children <laughs> And you know what? I get it. And this goes even for like the good guys, okay? We have a a few little bad apples, but like even the good guys, the guys that help with the laundry, the guys that help clean the house, the guys that take the kids to school, do the homework, change nappies, you know, feed, all of that. Unfortunately, there'll be that moment I ask you to help me out with something. And somehow you forget. You don't do it the way I want you to do it. Or even, this is the best one, Rory, uh, where we're telling you a story. And we're expecting you to be as angered by this experience. And then you take that calm approach of, wait, let's just evaluate the situation. Where all I want from you is, what a terrible person, you know? And then the blood pressure goes, ah, and we turn green (laughs) into hulks. And it's all because we are just built different, right? We are just built different. And the more we can appreciate the differences and just laugh them off here and there and help each other, you know? Like I said, I have to put in my husband's calendar. Please fix the light in the oven. Thank you, sir. And then it gets done. Um, So we know our little, we know our things that we do, we can do to help them along. And they do their things to help us along. So please, we're having fun here. Um, But also just highlighting, you guys stress us out. Let me even cut the music. You guys, you stress us out. Okay? Thank you. Um, with that said, here's some scary research that, that's come out, okay? Listen to this. Apparently, when husbands lose their wives, all right, um, health tends to deteriorate, whereas widowed women often experience improved health and reduced stress, highlighting the disparity in resilience between the partners. Now, you can bring that all down to science, women's bodies, men's bodies, and what have you. But in the end, we know you're the yin to our yang. And we love you. We love you lots. Even though you drive us crazy, we love you to bits. Carol Ofori, KZN's number one hit music station, East Coast Radio.